Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I'm glad that you found us here on YouTube and have joined this tribe of survivors. Uh, I haven't posted in a while and that is because, you know, I try not to think about my ex and I try not to look at anything that's going on with him. I just try to focus on my life and happiness and moving on. But something always happens. Uh, it could take years sometimes for a Hoover to happen. And a Hoover didn't happen to me. But what happened was I found out that my ex and the new supply are having a baby. And, you know, it's something that came across my um, social media, and I'm off social media for the most part, but something managed to sneak in. And I saw a thumbnail of uh, them celebrating the fact that she was pregnant. And um, then someone sent me a snapshot, like a screenshot of some of the comments in their videos. And I didn't know what it meant and it kind of just passed me by and it was like a fans only comment and I didn't think anything of it and a couple more months go by and the same person that had sent me that asked me if I had looked at it and I said no and asked her what it was about he's like well they're doing porn I'm like what so and it was almost as if not one day had passed since the day he left me. Like next thing I knew, I found myself getting online, finding out what this, you know, fans only page is, finding the new supply, and then, you know, Googling uh, their porn names that I found out, and then seeing unbelievable amounts of images of the two of them um, putting out porn videos of 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 really intense things. I mean, it wasn't light stuff. And I was just shocked. My jaw dropped to the floor. And I spent two days diving into everything. It was almost as if, you know, when you first break up with your ex or they break up with you and you're going through that, you know, um, thing on your computer and you're looking up the new supply and you're trying to, and you're crying and you're trying to figure out what does she have that I didn't? He left me for her, you know. And you're if you're in the raw thick of it at the very beginning where it's so intense, even though it's been five years, I got thrown right back into there. Like, he left me for a girl who does porn because I found out that she was doing porn before she um, met him. And I saw a video of her in showers with other girls doing threesomes like it was intense and I was just I was just so shocked so it was almost like a one-two punch five years later you know I found out that they're having a baby and I found out that they're doing porn and they have been doing porn for the last few years uh, to make money and they've been using like YouTube channels in order to promote the porn and and I was just, I'm still shocked. I, you know, it's been, it's been a few weeks now. I know he's had the baby with her. Um, but I, you know, I haven't looked since then, uh, when I first initially found out, but I had spent two days on my laptop, just looking at their history, um, for the past few years, um, after being so good for years, not looking at anything about him. And it was, I think, worse than a Hoover because I just ripped open a wound that had completely healed. And I'm like, what am I doing? And you guys out there will understand this. You know, when you've moved on and you're over, you're over them. Uh, it's been years and they didn't come back for your Hoover, but instead you went and looked and you gave them fuel whether they knew it or not you looked and opened their social media you find out what they did and you start questioning yourself again and and that's what I did and I I'm trying to be honest about it like I'm very I'm not proud that I looked at what happened but I just 
I was just so shocked. I mean, I feel like, you know, telling everybody because they, they, they make sure his face isn't in, um, all the, like the videos for the porn. And it's mostly just her, um, that's making money on this. But, um, she even did porn when she was pregnant. I mean, it was, <laughs> and so like, and they're, they're very far apart. Like we were never going to have kids cause I knew he didn't want them. And, and thank God we didn't because, um, for a narcissist to have children is very, uh, damaging to, to their child. And, uh, I've heard the horrible things that happen and the healing that you need to go through if you have a parent who's a narcissist. So I like my heart almost goes out to this kid because I, I know what its future is with, um, with having a narcissist for a father and he's 40 years old now you know and this is his first that he's had with his now third I don't know if they're married yet actually I don't think they are I know he proposed but I don't know if they're married but this is like his third or main supply of a long relationship or third marriage so I was his second wife and I was with him for seven years and the his first wife I know they were together for five years so um and I think he's been with this girl for four now so he does have long relationships but um you know that that part doesn't matter that just means you know um, more damage can be done but I think now after I found out that she does uh porn and she did porn before she even met him I'm I'm thinking that she is a narcissist too I think you would need to be a little bit of a narcissist if you're going to do things like that. Um, like I'm trying not to judge, uh, but it's really hard when, um, when um, it's, it's just hard <laughs> not to judge, you know, and I, and I just didn't know what to do or say. And I, and I let him come back into my inner circle of thought. And I'm trying to forgive myself for that. And, um, and I wanted to come and share this story with you guys, because, you know, you, you guys are the only ones that are going to be able to kind of relate to um, the fact that after years of, of making sure you do not go near them whatsoever and no communication in, in gray rock and, and cut them out of your life completely to just go back and dive deep into everything again it's like I I was so good at not seeing any images or knowing anything and then all of a sudden I found myself going back years and looking at everything they've done in the past few years and you know um I don't know what I was doing. I couldn't, it was like I was possessed. And then I finally, like, I caught myself. I'm like, what am I doing? And I, I went into my history of my, my laptop and I cleared all my history, all the search words. I mean, and I'm like, okay, now, and I went and I, I drank two bottles of wine. I'm like, I need to erase all the images that I just watched of the new supply having sex with my ex-husband <laughs> and me getting upset about it and now they're having a baby and all this stuff and I just um I I had to really be strong with myself to I'm like okay it's like it's like I was an addict and I just fell off the wagon and <laughs> and and just and just went off the rails and then for two days and then I just had to stop it was just like okay that was that was um, a disaster, a train wreck disaster, what you just did to yourself by going and looking at all the images after so long of not having them even creep into your thoughts to just get annihilated. And I think it's, you know, like anyone else who falls off the wagon with whatever issue, you know, it's kind of like one of those things where you have to like stand up dust yourself off and then keep going you don't just don't stay in that in that place um of going back and rehashing and the words and the images in your head and conversations you did have wanted to have or think that you're gonna have but never had you know just don't 
Don't spiral into that. Like I had to really pull myself out and hard. Uh, you know, like I couldn't believe that after so many years, all of a sudden I'm crying again. And I was just like, and, and it just, once it started, I, I couldn't stop for two days. And then I finally stopped and, and I'm just sitting there going, how, how is this happening? How does he still have this on me? You know, I, I find out that, oh, you know, she's pregnant and now all of a sudden, next thing I know, I'm looking at their porn videos that they're selling online, you know, and I'm like, oh, and I wanted to be disgusted. I wanted to be angry. I wanted to be all these things. But to be honest, I think, and this is so hard to admit, and I'm, it's one of these times where I'm literally, I'm really glad that this is an anonymous um, channel. But I, I, I have to admit, part of the thing that was really upsetting was that, um, like, even if he did come back to Hoover me, it wouldn't even be an option for me to take him back because he is so tainted. I mean, really hardcore porn like that? And, have, and, and having a kid with someone else at 40, your first kid? Um, to someone who does porn is just so degrading to me um, uh, to in a way that now I can, it doesn't matter who he is what he is what pedestal I put him on he, he's so fallen from grace to me and I think I was upset a little bit that uh, you know you like to play that little tiny voice in the back of your head going you know you say that it, we always say out to everybody, you know, if he comes back for Hoover, you know, I'm not falling for it. And I think I got upset because now if he comes back for a Hoover, um, even if I wanted to take him back, I couldn't. Because once you do porn, I think I don't think you can come back from that. And especially now that he has kids with someone else. That's something I would never take on. Like, I don't have kids. I chose not to have kids. And I thought we were in this together. When, when we were together, you know, I was I was 40 years old. And he was a little bit younger than me. But now he's 40. Um, and, oh, God, I think she's she's in her 20s. She's much younger. But, um, uh, like, to have him so spiraling down uh, away from anything that I could ever be with is almost, it was almost upsetting in that way. And that's a little bit embarrassing because I, I don't know why I was holding on to um, scenarios where things could be possible that I could be love-bombed by him again. And I wanted to be love-bombed by him just so I can dump him this time. You know, you have those trickery things that you don't want to admit that you actually think about. And the thing that I was upset at is that I had been so long without even, like years without even looking at a picture of him to just have it all come back and not come back in a little bit. I mean, come back by the truckload of everything you can possibly imagine um, looking at some of those videos. And it was, it was after I was done, after I closed my laptop and after I had deleted all the history and things like that. Honestly, what it felt like, I felt like I had just thrown up for two days from food poisoning and it finally, the vomiting stopped and I was exhausted and I was just lying there wrecked and I had to pick myself up again. That's what it, but it wasn't vomiting. It was me looking at images of him and his supply, um, having hardcore sex for money on all these websites. And I mean, that's what it was just like, ugh. and then I got drunk and I, I didn't throw up though. <laughs> I did drink like two bottles of wine, like pretty quickly. And then, and then here I am like uh, a few days later, I, I was like, wow, I haven't posted to um, post narcissist for a long time. And I just wanted to share that. I don't think anyone, hopefully none of you guys out there had to look at um, porn of your ex and the new supply that they're now doing for money. Um, 
um, and then finding out that he's having a baby with her and, and, you know, um, cause that was pretty brutal, but it was so brutal that I think I wanted to, to just share it that even years after you've moved on, that something like this can happen. And I really, I was not ready for that at all. I have a feeling now that this won't be my last post on this YouTube channel because something's going to happen and it could happen tomorrow and it could happen a year from now. But like, I'm pretty sure that, you know, this is not the woman that he's going to spend the rest of his life with. And then once something happens with him, uh, something's going to come back at me, even if I don't want it to. And I'm telling you, I'm going to try and be ready for the next one because I was not ready for this one. You know, it was getting blindsided. And that's something, you know, narcissists usually do on purpose. And he didn't even do this one on purpose to me. I just, it just happened. And I was not ready <laughs> to have him bust into my world again after I had worked so hard and done so much work on myself to put him in a place that was safe and far away from me. It just happened. So and guys, leave me a comment. I'd love to read them about anything that happened to you where your ex after years just, you know, bombarded you in your life again out of nowhere, whether they meant to or not, because I'm telling you, um, you guys got to be ready out there. And I, I wish I was more ready for this blow. And it was like a one, two punch. And um, my guard was completely down, like, and I mean, completely down. It didn't matter how happy I was in my life. Uh, it just came in and, and, and it wrecked me for like two solid days. And I'm just sitting there going, I promised myself I wouldn't give him one more minute from me, not one more drop of fuel, you know, even though it was indirect, it's like, Maybe he didn't get the fuel, but the fuel came out of me and I like poured it onto the ground for no reason, you know, with emotion and crying and, and feeling betrayed again and feeling, you know, all those emotions came back. And I'm just like, no, he's not allowed to have one more minute of this from me, whether it's going directly to him or not. It's, it's depleting me and, and I need to save myself. And I, and it took, it took a lot to remind myself. Um, cause I was honestly, I was out of practice. I was out of practice from my, protecting myself from him. And I want to share this story with you guys. Cause I, I know there's a lot of you out there that know what I'm talking about. And thank you so much for listening and, um, enjoying these videos because we are all survivors post narcissist.